Okay, it's time for review for exam number one. As I keep repeating, repeating, and repeating, it's, it's, it's our second exam, but it's called exam one. All right, fine. Here we go. Um, exam one. We're talking spring 21. Um, exam one, review. And it is our first one, so let's call it A. Problem number one. Okay, so this is <clears throat> it's this it looks it, this is as follows. It starts off with there's a lot of set problems in this review. Universal set is one to nine. You can when you put it on your paper, maybe you should just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I'm saving a little bit of time. The Set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, that one I'll write out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 to 9 inclusive, including 1, including 9. How about set B? Set B, there's three of these. Um, B has got 2, and then a 3, 5, 7, 8, end of story. C has got 4, 5, 7, 4, 5, 7, eight and nine that's it okay those are the three sets that's the universal set question find um in parentheses don't forget how parentheses how we talked about how how important the parentheses is um okay so uh so that so that's a uh, not b and then this is intersect c Okay, how do we how do we deal with this? So it's not B union A in parentheses and then intersect C. So we the here's our scrap paper work. Well, I'll, let me do that on the right hand side. Scrap paper work. Let me set off a little bit of space for it. Okay, first let's work on B prime. We don't have B prime up there. We've got B. We don't have B prime. Let's work on B prime. B prime here here it is. Uh, it's everything in the universal set except for what's in B. So one gets in. 2, forget it, 3, forget it, 4 gets in, 5, forget it, 6 gets in, 7, forget it, 8, forget it, and 9 gets in, and that's it. That's B prime. All right, now let's work on, still on scrap paper, what is B prime? Where am I getting my Q to go, what, what I'm working on here is I'm trying to work this out. So on scrap paper, I'm still, I'm, I want to work out B prime union A. Okay, that means we'll take you if you're in B prime, which is right here. And we'll, if you're in to A also, and that's either you're in this one or this one, we'll take you. It's fine. And if you're in both, it's also fine. Okay, what does that come out to be? comes out to be one. One's in both. Two's at least in A. Three is at least in A. Four is at least in B prime. Five is in A. Five is in A. Six is at least in B prime. And nine is at least in B prime. So that's B prime union A. Last step, which is the final answer right over here. Let's get our final answer right over here on the left-hand side. We need this, this, this set right over here, and it's supposed to be this set over here intersects C. So ignore A, ignore B. Just look at this line, this thing over here, B prime union A, intersect C. What do they have in common? Intersect. They have to be in this set and in this set. Answer? Four's in both. Check it out. Four is in both. Five's in both. Check that out. Look at C. Look at B prime union A. You can look at glance over there on the right hand side. And nine is in both. And that's it. No, nothing else is in both. This is the final answer. Problem is over. Okay, we are very generous with um, space here. If there's not enough room, we don't mind going to another piece of paper. And I think that's the best way to go. Because I don't, I don't want to be stingy about space here. It'll just make things less clear. Let's go to problem number two. Here we go. <clears throat> problem number two. Problem number two. Okay, fine. So I need you see right now why I need a space because I got to draw a Venn diagram, and if I draw it a little bigger, it's probably going to be a little clearer. My my diagrams are lousy as is. 
So let's try to make them clear if I can. All right, so here's A, left, B, right, and there's three balloons here, three circles, three balloons, whatever you want to call them, and obviously I'm going to call this C. Okay, what you're supposed to do is there shade. You, we need to shade. Um, here we go, shade <clears throat> the following. A prime, union, C, intersect B. Okay, so let's do this pretty much conceptually. We're not, not a bunch of, not, we'll do it all on one, on one sheet here. Uh, all on, 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 my, on my Venn diagram on the left-hand side. Okay, what is A prime? A prime you, will take you if you're in A prime or if you're in this thing. We'll worry about C intersect B in a second. Hold on. Let's just do A prime for a moment. Here's A prime. So you would shade. You take the, I'm going to show you what Alex will tell you to shade. You probably know it already from homework. But just in case, I want to go over it. Uh, in any case, we'll talk about how Alex shades. But I'm doing my usual lousy shading job. And the shading of A prime looks like this, but it's going to make it into the final cut because it's or. If it's or, it makes our life a little bit easier. Or. So I know for sure it's making it to the final cut, all of A prime. Now, what else makes it in the final cut? C intersect B. Where is C intersect B? Here's C. Here's B. Here's the football. We already have partially shaded. All we got to do is shade this too. And that's it. That's the full thing. So you want it, all of this shaded. And you want this little piece over here of A shaded and nothing else. This problem is over. That's the answer. That is the answer that you want to present. Okay, now, we finished with the problem. Let's discuss how, uh, how Alex deals with it. I think you know already because you've done homeworks. But just in case, they have something like this. And, of course, I'm lousy at all drawings, all graphs. But it pretty much looks like this. That's their shade icon. That's their icon that you click on to shade. Okay, they make things pretty obvious in all fairness, but I just like to go over them pretty quickly so that try to avoid confusion if, it, I, if I can. So you click on this icon right here, um, click on it, and then number two, click on that icon, and then number two is you go to the space, you go to the space, you went, if you went over here, let's say if you went over here and clicked on it, just the space would shade, if I'm not mistaken. Then you go over here, anything delineated by a border, anything that has a border, it, if you click in there, it'll shade, but that's all it'll shade. So everything that you want to shade, you have to go to each place and shade it. It doesn't take long. You just have to one click, and it'll shade for you. So if you want this space um, shaded, which you do, click on it. This space shaded, click on it. Then the whole, the whole outside will click. You want this space shaded, click on it. Anything that has a border, you got to click on to get it shaded. It's pretty obvious. I'm sure you've done. Well, I'm pretty sure you've done it on homework, but I'll, let me write this instruction out. Go to space on the on the diagram, of course, the Venn diagram on the diagram uh, that you want shaded. You I'm just, forget about the word you, that that you you want shaded. You want shaded. Go to that space, and it's a delineated border, right? Each of them has a delineated border, and click, and that's it. Okay, I, I think you'll see it's pretty obvious. I don't think you'll find this a big deal. Um, how, to, how to shade with Alex. Okay, now, uh, this one, I believe I can get on there without a problem, without being, you know, without being skimpy on space and, um, and still be pretty clear about problem number three. That we have enough space, I believe. Here's the question. Number three. A, um, A, we call just people by letters, which makes it a lot easier. A runs six miles in 50 minutes. First piece of information, M-I-N for minutes. M for miles. <clears throat> at that rate, right, obviously at the same rate, at that rate, at that rate, um, let me go down to the line two, at that rate, how many miles can A run? And I'm not writing the whole thing out. It's pretty obvious what I want here, or what they want, what I want. How many miles can A run in 35 minutes? That is the question. Okay, ratio. Six miles in 50 minutes, left-hand side. I don't need the miles and the minutes over here. It'll get me in my way. 
Okay, what else do I know? 35 minutes. Where does the 35 minutes belong? On top, together with the miles, or on the bottom, together with the minutes? Obviously, with the minutes. What don't I know? How many miles? This is 6 miles and 50, but how many miles in 35? That's my ratio. Okay, let's go sideways. This turns into 50x, right? Uh, cross multiply. Remember that. Cross. This is a ratio. Cross multiply. 50 uh, lower left to upper times upper right, 50x. And then upper left times lower right is equal to 210. 6 times 35 is 210. Okay, we got to solve for x. That'll get us our miles. Divide by 50 on the left. Divide by 50 on the right. And we get... If they want fraction, well, they probably don't want fractions. So hold on just a second. Let's go slow. X is equal to 210 over over uh, 50, right? So these two zeros cancel each other out. 20, we got 21 over 5. X, let me let me make it clear. We have 21 after all is said and done. X is equal to 21 over 5. Go to your calculator, or you can do this by hand. And what does this become? In decimal, that's almost for sure what they wanted in decimal. 21 divided by 5 with your calculator is 4.2. There, 4.2 miles. That's the answer. 4.2. And maybe, Alex, we want you to spell out miles. That's what they're asking. How many miles in 35 minutes? That's the answer for problem number 3. Okay. 3 is done. Let's go to 4 on, a, obviously, a new piece of paper. Here we go. Um. <clears throat> Okay, here comes problem number four. Hopefully the alarm doesn't go off on me. Um, yeah, number four. Um, what do we got? Oh, here we go. We've got a, um, a linear equation, minus 3x, plus 4y, three questions, plus 4y. Sorry, sorry about that. Didn't finish the equation. I'm rushing a little bit i got to slow myself down. Minus 3x plus 4y is equal to negative 8. There's the equation. Three questions. Slope. Y-intercept. And then they, um, uh, they insist that we graph it. Okay, we've done this before. We had this on the first test, if I'm not mistaken. we got to isolate y. That's our first thing. Then we'll be able to get a slope and y-intercept. How should I isolate y? First thing that's got to go is the mi is minus 3x. Plus 3x is the antidote. Do that to the left and the right. This is gone. That's the idea. 4y. Then write, don't write a minus 8 plus 3x. Write mi positive 3x minus 8. Divide by 4 on left. Divide by 4 on right. We've got almost everything that we need. Uh, we've got our slope, which is 3 fourths. We've got a slope. I'm going to write it right now. That's one of our answers. And minus 8 divided by positive 4 is minus 2. We've got the y, um, we've got the y intercept. <clears throat> Let me see what we have here. Yeah, we've got the y-intercept, which is <clears throat> minus 2. So also known as 0, comma, <clears throat> negative 2. <clears throat> but I think for, for answering B, you just have to put in a negative 2 for, for Alex. Like on the first test, I believe so. All right, anyway, the full coordinates are 0, negative 2. What about graphing? All right, we've talked about this many times. Go to the graph. You go to the graph. Y, y, the terrible graph, y and x axis, we, 0, comma, 0, comma negative 2 is go down 1, 2, and <clears throat> we have, um, this is 0, comma negative 2, all right, I'm almost finished. Um, now, what about the next point? Use the slope. The altitude is 3. And that's the y, the y, min, you know, y, and the b below is the left and right. So go up three, one, two, three, and then move positive four to the right. One, two, three, four. That's the second point, and you graph it. How do you do this? What's this? What's the coordinates of the second point? The coordinates of the second point are one. This the second point is one, comma, four. It's I'm sorry. It's um, one, two, three, four. It's four comma, up one. There's your second point. How do you do an Alex? We've done it before. Click on this icon and then put in the coordinates of the, of the two points. I get those two points done. Click on, and click on this icon and you will, it'll draw it for you automatically. We've discussed this in the past. 
Okay, I'm stopping this video.